What is your, do you like birds, Joe? Do you hate birds? Do you find yourself ever looking at birds? I like birds. I uh, got a couple books on them for a project, but it's, I didn't remember too many of the names. I just, <laughs> uh, I th it's hard. It's hard. I feel like it's a nice thing, but maybe something I will get into further later on in life. Right now, I'm just too busy going to, you know, uh, that uh, motocross events on the weekends. Yeah. I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, That's so feel, different from birds. Joe. <laughs> it feels like an older person thing, though. It sort of famously is. It like feels like a retirement mm. thing. It's something where not, you have like a lot yeah. of time to travel around and stuff. You know, I would not say that in the two people in the birding community. Okay. It's the it's. I read somewhere it's the biggest hobby in the United States right now. It's because it, it looks like that. It's really like the people seemed younger than I expected. Uh, there's still very many 70 year olds doing it. It's not. Yeah. But there, there is young people coming into the birding arena now. Like it is becoming a younger person. Listen, I, I, I like birds. I love wildlife watching. I'm sort of obsessed with it. I, I could see myself becoming a birder like pretty early, like within the next sort of five to 10 years. Can I say that? I just want to say real quick, there is a controversy going on in the community about wokeness and, and burden. Like you would think that that would be the place that would be saved from people yelling about woke. But guess what? There is a controversy in the burden. figure community. out what it would be even. I'm trying to like even imagine what they could be saying is woke. Uh, so <laughs> eponymous bird names are being changed. So what that means is, uh, like, the Cooper's Hawk is named after a guy named Cooper or something. I didn't look up his name. They're going to change that to better describe the hawk, you know? So they'll sounds, be like, that oh. Seems like, that seems smart, though. That just seems like it's sort of a better way. That doesn't really seem like it's woke. I mean, if they mm. were, they're just changing it to a better description. But I would say that all three of us on this call are probably considered pretty woke so <laughs> i don't think anybody on this call is going to be able to say it's not woke. we're not going to have the the argument about we it we have you know? glasses on yeah <laughs> well what what is what is what did cooper do uh i see it's not it's not always what they did uh oh it, so we're not tearing down the confederate monuments of the birding well names. sometimes we're... we are because joe let me tell you back when birding started it yeah. was a lot different. They would shoot and kill the birds. Well, that's and hunting. then they would be like, check that's out this hunting, bird. I think, though, that's... No, that was what bird watching was. A guy yeah. would shoot and kill a bird, and he'd bring it to a scientist, and the scientist would be like, oh, that's a... And then name it after the... Usually the guy that shot the bird. That was... Ah. That's... Yeah, that's the whole dilemma about the, the Natural History Museum in New York. It's like, it's very cool to see all those animals stuff, but it's also such a waste yeah they're all stuffed it's, yeah. it's kind of scary but but was, there's was, no winning no it was such a funny way to approach nature i guess very sad yeah. but also just like <laughs> shoot this thing stuff it and bring it back there's, there's no the celebration of life is not yeah. really a celebration of life <laughs> I was just picturing like because some of them are literally named after the science that scientists that named it, but the other yeah. ones are named after a fucking guy that shot a bird. They were like, "Oh, this guy he shot the first one of these. This is so a good. new one." <laughs> um, yeah, I can help started, you out though. Get re started the process of eliminating them entirely. Let's name the bird after him. Yeah. Get ready to say goodbye to this is from NPR. Get ready to say goodbye to a lot of familiar bird names like Anna's Hummingbird, Gamble's Quail, Lewis's Woodpecker, Bewick's Wren, and Bullock's Oriole, and more. That's because the American Ornithological Society has vowed to change the English names of all bird species currently named after people, along with any hmm. other birds' names deemed offensive or exclusionary. So, it seems like a good thing. Hmm. But that that's the woke part is the is the changing names that feel um exclusionary or whatever, right? We're supposed to be exclusionary. It's sure. more it seems like it's more about like uh, people 
placing ownership on the birds as opposed to like approaching them. You know, that's, yeah, that's that's yeah. It I, seems I, it makes sense what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, it says the move has come as part. Of, this is where the 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 people get mad though. The move comes as a part of a broader effort to diversify birding and make it more welcoming to people of all races and backgrounds. So that's uh, pretty woke. That's pretty woke. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I understand what they're saying now. So that's what they're upset with is that birding used to be. A, I mean, I do think of birding as an old white man's game, definitely. Like, I guess maybe just from that movie with Steve Martin that I saw, though, because I think that's really the only real example of birding I can think of. But yeah, I mean, listen. I think birding is something everyone can appreciate. I don't think, you know, I really don't think there's any reason why it shouldn't be diversified. Yeah. Here's a hint at how good birding people are. I'm going to read you this paragraph that you will never read in any other article on any other website ever. I've been seeing some of these birds and using these names every year for the last 60 years, says Ken Kaufman, a prominent author of Field Guides. He says mm. he initially opposed the idea of changing so many names, but has come around. So, <laughs> I he, saw, evolved, he evolved his views on it? Yeah, and you're not hmm. supposed to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I guess it would be a pain if you're like a 70-year-old birder and you got to learn new names for everything. Yeah. Well, Joe, and a lot of them do a thing called the lifer list, and they have a list that of all the birds they've seen in their life. Right. And a right. lot of them, and they're changing the names of 70 to 80 birds. So a lot of them are like, I'm going to have to go to my lifer list and well, write the new name. Down with my, my piece of paper and yeah, it's a lot of data entry that I'm going to have to do. And it's just sort of, you know, I mean, that's easily 40 to 45 minutes worth of paperwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, cross them out one by one and rewrite them in red pen next. <laughs> that's oh, well, now we're going to go to uh, Reddit where they were having a conversation about this. Yeah. Um, live departure 5186 says just when I have most of the birds on my life list, is it not enough that everyone gets a trophy and no one knows our history and hatred is the rule of the day, rude people everywhere. It's unbelievable that kids want everything for free and don't want to work. Now their feelings get hurt because of a bird's common name. Thanks for nothing. What a waste. Okay. So not all the bird people are nice and cool mm -hmm. then, right? No. Cause this person seems pretty annoying. <laughs> well, he fit everybody gets a trophy into an article about changing the names of 70, 80 birds. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking there'd be some curmudgeons because I was picturing it all as these like old people. So I was thinking there would be some curmudgeons that would be, you know, but even the old people tend to be nice still who are birders, right? Most because this guy bipedal meat puppet says, uh, while we're at it, how about the ring neck duck? Barely perceptible ring, but that bill, the way I heard it, the specimen sent back to the lab was missing the bill edit. And I'm fine with renaming descriptive names will be great going forward. So he's fine with it. Yeah. But he wants to go further and rename other birds that maybe don't look the way that their name says because he has some suggestions on some that they could add to the list like the ring duck or whatever that he said you know he i just love the way that they i love them reminiscing about like a bird that they you know and just the way they talk about it with such reverence i it re I, I really do like it a lot it's beautiful birds and dogs says there are so many like that where the bird was named while looking at a dead specimen in a lab Semi-palmated sandpiper and plover are just terrible names for those adorable birds. Red-bellied woodpecker also comes to mind. So hmm. now they... That I is mean, nice. <laughs> how, well, do you know, how do you not like the name red-bellied woodpecker? That's yeah, such that's a great name. Such a good... Does it not have a red belly? Is Most that... don't. Most uh, don't. Because actually this guy explains... Uh, the, the red bellied actually gets his name because the red headed woodpecker was discovered first. Honestly, more appropriate, uh -huh. in my opinion. There's a very uh -huh. faint red belly, and once you start noticing it, it makes them more adorable. So, yeah, so it does seem like a good name then. You know, it's like, yeah, it's not super obvious, but it does have a red belly, and it sort of tells you that it's something you should be looking for as well. And then once you notice it, it's more adorable. It is. And, and it's funny to say, like, hey, man. This duck's bill doesn't have a ring on it. Let's name it the ring build or something than the big build duck. 
or so i can't i i am not creative enough to start naming birds i would just call them all like they all look the same to me every single bird looks exactly the same to me when i'm outside <laughs> i'm out walking around i'm checking out and i see the birds and i'm like well that's a bird like think, some of them are different colors and sizes nope. you recognize that right mm -mm. some hey, of them bird. are pretty, pretty big hey, bird bird blind maybe bird blind 